attack. I need to figure out better ways of dealing with these, because I'm pretty sure on just the standard attack you can get three hits. And I always only go for two. But I'm pretty sure you can get three on those. I just rely on getting a lot of those dashes. Like whenever he lunges. This will be my last run if we uh, if we don't get a good run going. Hopefully, hopefully we will. We'll see. SpaghettiOs9. How the run's been today? We had a run that was on a world record pace all the way up till uh, Jimmy the Great. And then we uh, had an untimely death. But yeah, we were we were like minus 2 minutes and 20 seconds or so. And we still had a 50 second time save left on Devil. So we were on like 104 pace. get back on the pace? Yeah, I hope so too. We'll see. I think 104x will be like the stopping point for me for this category. If I, if I get like a 104 or something, I'd be very happy with that time. But I mean, we'll see. I could always refine some strategies and, and take some fights more dangerously. It'll just be less fun if I have to start grinding like really like like task strats on every single fight, you know? Not task, but like IL strats in every fight. I haven't seen many cuphead runs. What is 300 percent Uh 300 percent is you do every like so if you play if you beat the game and do everything on expert, the base game is 200 percent and the DLC is 100 percent So basically we are collecting every coin in the game, beating every boss, completing every level. It's just a, like a completionist category. Also, I have to fight every King Dice mini boss and buy every item from the shop. Oh, Alright, we'll take it. That was good. We'll, we'll take it. This is the best RNG we can get other than just getting everything up top first try, which we almost did. Sounds like a lot. It is a lot, yeah. There's a lot that can go wrong, too, so... It's a tough category. Good. Good. 
That was a pretty good RNG. I figured out how to get three hits on that whenever he does the initial attack, but like he has a chance of going to the other side, which is not ideal. So maybe I could figure out a way to do that where I don't bait him into going across. I don't know. We'll see. I have to practice King's Leap. Hey, Mr. Pill, thank you for the new follow. That was a good fight. Still a few small mistakes there, but overall, I'm very happy with how that fight turned out. If we can get a Rook as good as that Rook we had that last run, this would be really great. Very weird RNG. Should be good. Yeah. Okay. Do you start the route, uh, start the route with the deal? Yes. Yes, we do. Uh, because you unlock Miss Chalice in the DLC, and you also get the Cursed Relic, and the Cursed Relic requires you to beat bosses with that equipped, so you need to do that. You need to get it early enough in the run. That was... Man, we went even on that. That was pretty bad, though. That could have been much faster. It's fine. We got out of King's Leap in under seven minutes. Hey, Joe Nathan, what's up, man? Top... Oh, we're right, left down, left down. Left down, right down. Left down, right down, down. Left down, right down, down. So that's... One, three, two. We'll get the secret coin here. One, three, two. It's a very interesting. I've never had the riddle pattern be all in the same row like that. That was it. Okay. I love the streams. Hope you do well. Hope you're doing well, Steve. Yeah, I'm doing pretty well, Joe. Thanks, man. It's gonna be the last run, so if we have any like major mistakes, I'll probably cut the run off. But uh, yeah, we've been we've been doing decent today. That was good. That was really good. <laughs> All right. Oh man, any mods around? Can we ban Chico Biscuit? It's a bot. And do not go to that website, obviously. <laughs> Good. 
stream Pogo anytime soon. Not until after AGDQ in January, because I need to practice. Maybe if I get world record back soon uh, for this category, then maybe I'll, I'll sneak in a Pogo stream. But not, not in the near future, unless the world record happens. Good. That was a good Howling Aces. I mean, we still lost time, but I had a ridiculous Howling Aces on my uh, current splits. I had like a 49. Yeah, I'm still playing Pokemon Go. I'm just not streaming it lately. Today I went uh, 25. 25 wins in 30 games. So 25 and 5. Using Shadow Vic in a Flyer meta. It's pretty, uh, pretty fun. People aren't really prepared for Shadow Vic Altaria Core. So people don't team build for it. So usually if they have a Flyer lead, they're kind of weak to Altaria in the back. Uh, when are you doing GDQ? Uh, January 8th. If you type in exclamation point AGDQ, I have a little uh, write up about it on my thought. Alright, this is good. Oh boy, that was uh, kind of dangerous. We still golfed it. <laughs> that was very dangerous, though. Congrats, is this your first AGDQ? No, I actually ran Cuphead at uh, AGDQ 2021. So, like, uh, almost two years ago, because this will be AGDQ 2023 coming up. But yeah, it was the beginning of last year. Uh, if you search AGDQ Cuphead 2021 or something, you could probably pull up my run if you're interested in watching. It was a really fun run. It was cool. Yeah, that, that was the first time I've ever run a game at GDQ. I've been backup runners, like, I've been a backup runner, like, on two or three other occasions. Once for Cuphead, once for Super Ghouls and Ghosts. Uh, one for Ghosts and Goblins Resurrection, actually. Or not a backup runner for Super Ghouls and Ghosts, it was a, a backup game, I guess. Okay, that was a good first phase. Or at least it was a clean first phase. Good. Uh, GDQ is games done quick. It is a uh, an event that happens twice a year, where people play video games fast for charity. Uh -oh. That was sketchy. I, uh, I messed up the glitch there. That was a pretty solid fight until then. Like, that could have been probably a 56 or 57 if we just didn't mess up the um, dash roll. You and team are the best I've seen in this game. Oh, you gotta watch Sublime play sometimes. Sublime is really good. He, he just took back uh, the All Bosses Legacy record, which has stood for three years. And he's gonna be doing commentary with me on uh, my GDQ run, which is really cool. Uh -oh. Jeez. That was sketchy. That was so sketchy. I could have gotten snail skip on right side, but I, I don't know the setup for it. Because uh, you shouldn't ever go to right side on that final phase. 
It's okay. This is still a solid run. Hopefully we don't completely bomb Esther like we did last time, where we got hit three times in first phase. If I get hit once on first phase, that's fine. I'd prefer to come out of first phase with no hits. We'll see, though. Ooh, we got another one of those parries. Interesting. I have more parries than I normally have at this part, so I'm going to fire an extra one off here. Well, maybe not. This would be fine. Alright, this is okay. Interesting. Okay, good. It's a good fight so far. Try to get that parry. That's all right. We'll take it. lost like 40-ish, 43 seconds based uh, versus our sum of best, which is actually really good for DLC. DLC has a lot of variants. It's a long category. Chef Salt Baker's Day. should have hit me, but I think the hitboxes are disabled there. No. Oh, didn't get the phantom hitbox. It's okay. Ooh, we still got a zero cycle final phase. I kind of wanted not a zero cycle there. We'll need five charge shots plus an EX. That's good. We'll take it. We will take it. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, minus 46 coming out of DLC. This is a solid run. We have potential. This run's all about like minimizing mistakes. And we're gonna see some pretty big time saves here, but it's because of a route change. The only like legitimately high time save is on Rivian Croaks. The rest of these are basically just time saves due to routing that we'll lose on Werner later. Onion do his thing. One, two, three, four. Do you enjoy doing no hit runs? I do not. 
because it's kind of like an antithesis of speedrunning. I mean, you can go fast and no hit runs, but mostly it prioritizes being safe over being fast. Good. That was a good time save. That might have been a, a 37 root pack. Nah, it's still a 38. That was close. You like the song so much, he might be your favorite boss. It is a pretty solid song. For sure. to skip this attack and we just missed skipping it so we're gonna still save time here but it's not gonna be nearly as much of a time save as it could have been actually makes make salt baker feel like a villain yeah yeah i just don't like like the trope of, of salt baker being the villain i mean it was, it was kind of an obvious twist I guess there's nothing wrong with an obvious twist, but I was hoping that there'd, there'd be more of a, a, of a twist. Oh, that was a little dangerous. I thought I landed on the platform, but I like clipped into it somehow. We could have saved like 10 more seconds there, but that's okay. I think really you could save, if you have like a really good fight, you could probably, I think yeah, it's my best time now, like a 56 or 57. That could have been like 20 seconds faster if we got really good RNG in first phase. Got that second phase skip and then played the end more aggressively. Yeah, this is still a really good pace. The song the cutscene before the fight actually makes makes him actually evil, even if it was obvious. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's still cool. Don't get me wrong. It's it's really cool, and it's still a really cool fight. I like the, the fight. I think the fight could have been more difficult, but it is a really cool fight. The first relic fight here. The relic fights are just, they make or break the run. Okay. 
You found home very difficult the first time? You can understand him not being... Oh, you found him very difficult the first time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, at first I would say he was far and above the hardest fight in the DLC, but I've practiced him so much now that I, I feel like he's not harder than, than Glumstone. <laughs> Glumstone's harder, in my opinion. At least for speedrunning. Glumstone's just way more un unpredictable. Actually, a really, really good tree top till then. Still gonna be good. Could have been better. To me, the little fire that kept hitting out of nowhere and is getting frustrated. Yeah, that's the hardest part about expert compared to regular, is the fact that there are two of those flames instead that you have to kind of manipulate and dodge. It's just, it's just something you just have to keep track of the entire fight. So it gets a little annoying. We saved, I think we golded Cagney last time. We got a, a really decent time. got another gold. That was without damage boosting strats for final phase. We didn't really have the HP to go for it. That was good. Okay. Hey, Maker's World, welcome. Good. We had a death there on our PB in the final phase. So, cutting out that death there just was huge. Uh, exclamation point AGDQ, if you type it together, just gives you, uh, Nightbot just gives a description of of uh, the fact that I'm running this game for uh, Awesome Games Done Quick in January. Just let you know a little bit about that.
I don't even know if it's necessary to pick up the mini bombs. I do it because we we buy all the weapons in the category, but you don't have to actually use mini bombs because just doing the airplane fights with cursed relic gives you mini bombs. Yes, I am. Technically, not really 1900 because it is USB. All right, we'll just do this. I was gonna like go for some risky dash or kill him or something, but jumping over him is fine. USB Super Nintendo controller. this one either. We need one more HP, please. Okay. Got it. We lost eight seconds on that. I'm not sure how we lost that much time. Because that seemed like a pretty solid fight. But we must have had a really good fight on our PB. Okay. We missed, we made like one mistake in the first phase. for the podium or top ten? I'm going for the podium. We have the strats to get to get record, we just need a clean run where we don't die. But I play with like a lot of very high risk strats, 
So, like, my current PV right now, this 10806, or that's not my, technically my PV, but my current best time on these splits, uh, have four deaths. So there's a lot of time save potential just in not dying. Made like a few very, very small errors, but that was mostly good. Looks like he did a P run. Nah, we killed a few, uh, a few small minions there. So not technically. Do the DLC already? Yeah. Yeah, we do the DLC early in the run because we need to get the Cursed Relic. Because that's necessary for 300%. Uh, and you need to uncurse the Relic by fighting a bunch of bosses with it. So it helps to get the Relic earlier. Plus, Miss Chalice. Using Miss Chalice, which only unlocks after DLC, saves time on a lot of bosses. Okay, thanks for the good luck. Thanks for the good luck, man. Chris Relic on. Okay. It's not that. Hey. on this phase. Oh. This is rough. Okay. I think we are one parry away from a second health. One or two. Hope it's one. Is there a secret phase in the Jimmy boss? Yes. Yes, there is. 
but it is not faster for speedrunning purposes, so we don't go for it. But yeah, if you mini plane at the beginning of the puppet phase, it brings you to secret phase. You have to like hold mini plane while he's scanning you. for no parries. Oh boy, this is kind of risky. This is fine. Good. Solid. Bepi glitch, nah. We're so far ahead that I don't need to risk Bepi glitch, and it's only possible on a few patterns. And it's very difficult to get. It's very high risk. And the reward, honestly, isn't that significant. Some of the patterns you have to have a five, a five cycle first phase on, and at that point you're only saving like five seconds. Played that bad. We could have gotten a uh, a one cycle first phase there where you exit the left side of the screen. Your thought was necessary. Yeah, yeah, that, that's not necessary. There's, there's a lot of uh, wiggle room for world record in this category right now. Like, realistically, it could go down to the 104s, and it's a very high 105 right now. So there's no point in, in taking huge risks when they're not necessary, if that makes sense. You ever thought charge is good, now you're regretting not using it? Charge is so good. It's the goat weapon. Because it's such a long category, yeah, it's not that optimized. Like, a deathless run is really good in this category. So if you can get a deathless run with, with solid routing and solid uh, boss fight strats, you'll get a really good time in this category.
if I have HP, no problem. Yeah, but I like the damage boost a lot at the end, so it, it gets a little tricky if I take some unintended hits there, because then I have to tighten up for final phase, or for, for the final section. These two fights are going to make or break the run. We need to do two fights in a row with the uh, Relic. Mostly Werner's the one I'm really scared about. But obviously this fight's very important as well. Small time loss, but that was solid. Werner, we're going to lose time on regardless because we our, our current splits did not play Werner with Relic, and we're going to play Werner with Relic, so it's going to be slower. We're really hoping we get the first attack that has parables. The little uh, catapult, because we could really use it for the extra HP. We did not, of course. Oh, this is fine. Oh, come on, we got the weapon we wanted. I, I, I lost it because I'm dumb. All right, I, I want Roundabout for this fight. Because Roundabout is a nice, solid weapon. Decent damage, good for dodging. Sixteen using relic. It's actually really good. Should have used the smoke bomb. We have to uncurse the relic, so we need to equip the relic. It's part of the category. Equip the parry heart normally. It's just part of the cursed relic that you can parry for hearts.
That was good. That was a very good fight. Okay. level as well. Oh no! <sighs> no octopus skip again because I, I accidentally parried. It. I accidentally parried the uh, octopus. It's fine, it's fine. I'm not worried. Okay. Last relic fight. This is a very important one. The one that is very difficult if we try to optimize it. And we kind of need to. We, we lost a big chunk of time in Perilous Pierce. That was scary. <laughs> I got frozen as a nuke, which could in result in instant death. There's like a weird glitch with that, where if you nuke, it just eliminates your iframes immediately. So like, I could have died there. I, I was luckily in a spot where I wasn't gonna die. But man, that was very, very, very intense. All right, we got the Divine Relic. We saw it briefly there on the screen. We need to get Sally Glitch. We need to get a good time on it, so let's go for it. I forgot to change weapons. This is really bad. I've never done Sally Glitch with this weapon combo.
I messed that up. I messed that up really badly. It's still doable. The record's still doable, but this is going to be rough. Okay. It's not looking good. Doing stuff like that is not helping. Yeah, there's a there's a glitch secret phase you do that saves a bunch of time. But I didn't have the right weapon equipped for it because uh, I did this badly. It's not good. We'll have this move our cart, because we want this to move. Okay. Still possible. We need to have a really good King Dice. Any deaths yet this round? I don't think I do.
If I don't get hit on on chips, I think I have to damage boost cigar. I, I need to stay ahead of uh I need to save time. Well, did you get three times? No, you have to do all the King Dice mini bosses for this category. So I have to get straight ones with twos in between the uh, to not land on the safe squares. All right, I can't damage boost cigar. It'd be it'd be too uh, risky. Not intentionally, anyway. I need to play a little safe. I think I have enough wiggle room to play a little safe. It just thinks that we're not getting these last hearts until six and nine, which are the latest possible times you can get them. Who's Wolf? Uh, yeah, SBD Wolf. SBD Wolf. Uh, he's he's one of the best Cuphead players. He had the world record for the Legacy category for years. He also runs 300% as well, but he doesn't run it th with the same rules that I do. He runs his own version of it. Good. Good. Got that parry. This is good. Yeah, you can't write. You can't write speedrun.com. Nightbot doesn't like the links. Yeah, we get what you know. That was sketchy. We kind of made some mistakes there, but that's okay. 
I think we can still do this. These fights overall are pretty solid right now. We might need to get the, the monkey like final card match skip, which doesn't save that much time, but it does save a little bit of time. Nice quick fight. get the skip there, but that's okay. I don't think the skip's necessary. I think we're okay. possible. It's not a great king dice, but this is still possible. We had a death on devil in our PP. Or our, on these splits. Technically not our PP, but on these splits we did. So we need to get like a 110 devil or better when you factor in like this, the parry lag and stuff. We got this. We got this. Yes! Oh, man. 105.44. <laughs> World record by 12 seconds. <sighs> okay. <sighs> oh, man. That's good. We got a sub, sub one minute, too. <sighs> man, that's good. Thank you for the GGs, guys. Oh, yes, yes. We got it back. The stream was worth staying up this late for. So this is a longer stream than I normally do. It's like three hours. Usually I do like two hours of streaming and then I'm done for the day. I'm going to go back into the file, show you guys. It's the bottom, uh, it's the bottom file. It should be 300%. Uh, yeah, just, we had no VSync on. Bottom file. Here we are. 
show all the items. I like doing this at the end of my 300% runs, just to show off. Yeah, we got all the items, all the supers, all the charms. Checklist is completely filled out, including all the King Dice mini-bosses. That's a wrap. Let me go back and read chat here. Whew, thanks so much for the GGs. Thanks, Bloodlust. Thanks, Big Sid. Hey, welcome in, man. Alex, thank you for the GG. Maker's World, thank you. Nathan, Urmatsu. Thanks so much, man. Urmatsu, former rec world record holder in chat. I'm sure he's going to be grinding to get it back. This is definitely uh, within striking range. I got to keep playing this category. Uh, Espacio Raro, thanks for the GG. Your Cheeto Play, thanks for the GG. Jolteon, thank you. Quincely, thank you. Joe Nathan, thank you. Espacio, thanks for the congrats. Markin, thanks for the GG. Avatar Man, feels good. Yeah, man. Sure does. Marabuchi, thanks for the GG. Juggy Bravo, thanks for the GG. Yeah, by 12 seconds. 12 seconds. You're on the edge of your seat this whole run. <laughs> yeah. Incendiary Blonde, thank you for the GG. Still room to lose more uh, more time, GG's. Thanks, Avatar Man. Thanks, Mithril. 